So, I'm here on the motoringchronicle.com and I'm here to answer one of your burning questions when it comes to motoring, when it comes to driving. That's what we do here, that's what I like doing here. And one of the most popular questions I've seen and been asked on the internet is, which is the busiest road in Europe? What is the most congested, which is the road in Europe that takes the most traffic of them all? Which highway is the number one in this ranking? Well, surprisingly, it's actually quite difficult to find this information out. The UK has a lot of very in-depth kind of stats when it comes to this. I recently did a, a video going over the busiest motorways in the UK, which ones are the most congested. And same for the cities as well. But for Europe, for some reason, there isn't like a one-stop shop of finding this information out. So take this with a pinch of salt, but I do, I do think this is probably accurate, I must admit. The 10 that I'm about to name are definitely 10 of the busiest roads in Europe, without a doubt. So this is Europe as a whole, by the way, this is not just the EU, as you will see some of these entries are from outside the EU, including one from the UK. So let's have a look. Let's have a look at the overall traffic numbers and see which is the busiest road in Europe. So at number 10, according to this list, is the A1 over in Serbia. The A1 is the main north-south highway in Serbia, connecting the Hungarian border with the capital city of Belgrade and further south into North Macedonia. So basically the biggest route, basically the M1, what the M1 is in the UK, is over in, in Serbia, is the A1. And, ju and just so you guys know as well, this is from japoteam.cz over in the Czech Republic. So again, take it with a pinch of salt, but I, I think this is pretty accurate looking at it. Number nine is the A8 over in both France and Italy. This is known as the Autoroute du Soleil and it connects the aix en Provence in France, I'm definitely pronouncing that wrong, I do apologise French viewers, with the Italian border at Ventimiglia. This highway is crucial for transport between France and Italy and is a popular one with tourists heading to the French Riviera. Number eight is the A3 over in Germany. This is one of the main north-south route, south routes in Germany. It connects with the Dutch border all the way down to Austria through Frankfurt and Nuremberg. So it's kind of like a crisscross across the entire country. So not a surprise that a lot of people are heading over a big freight route for people heading to South Europe as well. The A10 in the Netherlands is number seven. This is the ring road around Amsterdam and it connects, and, and the highway is a crucial connection for domestic and international traffic and is used daily by thousands of vehicles. The A10 connects various parts of Amsterdam and provides access to the city and surrounding areas. Yeah, Amsterdam, massive biking city, but on the ring road surrounding the city, it doesn't surprise me that it's a very popular route for cars and trucks. Number six is the E40 in both Belgium, Germany and Poland. It's one of the longest European highways of them all. It runs from Calais in France over to Kazakhstan. But the E40 section is the main one we're talking about here. And that connects Germany, Belgium and Poland. The highway is usually very busy, especially in the sections near major cities such as Brussels, Cologne and Warsaw. The A7 in Spain is in fifth place. That is the one that runs across the Mediterranean coast of Spain connecting Barcelona and Algeciras, I've never heard of that place before. It's known for its tourism and the transport of goods along the coast during the summer. Traffic congestion is particularly bad again because of the tourists taking the route. Fourth place is the A2 over in Germany. That connects the city of Oberhausen and Berlin and it's one of the main east-west routes in Germany. The A2 motorway is often crowded as it serves as an important link between the Ruhr area, which is the main industrial area in Germany, and the capital city of Berlin. Number three is the A1 in Italy. This is also known as the Autostrada del Soleil, so I imagine it's the continuation of the one we spoke about before that goes from France to Italy. The Italian section connects Milan with Naples through Bologna, Florence and Rome. This is a 760 kilometer long highway and it's the backbone of Italian transport network and it's heavily used for both personal and freight transports. The M25 in the UK, the ring road for London is number two. I did name that as the busiest one in the UK recently. It's basically the ring road for the entirety of London. So it's a massive, massive headache for anybody trying to use because the traffic congestion is just unbelievable on that thing. But what's worse than that? What's even, what is even higher than that in terms of traffic numbers? Well, it's none other than the A4 in France, which connects Paris to Strasbourg on the German border. It's one of the most 
important and busiest highways in France. I've looked up, tried to find out the actual specific traffic numbers for this. I'm unable to find an up-to-date figure, but in the year 2002, this took around a quarter of a million vehicles every day on average. So nowadays it will be even higher than that. You would have to imagine as traffic numbers and populations continue to go up, even though relatively steadily in Europe. But yeah, there we go, guys. The A4 in France is the busiest highway, road, whatever you want to call it, in Europe. In terms of overall congestion, that's a different thing. But in terms of the overall traffic numbers, that is the highest of them all. So yeah, there you go, guys. That's your question answered. And for much more motoring news and opinions and advice and analysis like this, do take a look at our other videos as well on the motoringchronicle.com. I'll be very, I'll be back very soon with some more motoring content right here.